Good morning, it's Makeup Hair Junkie Over 40 and I wanted to do a wig review from um, the Statements line from the wig company. They sent me this wig to review for my honest review and you all know that if I don't like something, I definitely will let you know. Um, this is the box that it came in. This is the color. The wig is called Summer Heat. It's been around for a while. Um, and if you have luxurious in the same statements line from the wig company, it's exclusive by the way, only the wig company has it. Um, the luxurious wig is very similar, but it's longer, just a few inches longer. So just keep that in mind. But this summer heat is heat friendly. You can use a curling iron on it. Um, just watch the temperature. There should be instructions inside. Um, and I have the color F18101 which is a platinum blonde. There is no dark roots in this wig. I added them in. And if you look in my videos from, you know, I think it was the last time I did a video, um, you will see I actually showed how I did this. So with this wig, it is so beautiful. It has a lace front. It's from here to here. It has the nice bendable ear tabs. And it doesn't just have that one little tiny metal piece in it. It's a big, nice metal piece. So the so what I do is I pull it over my ears and then I kind of pinch it. So that way when the metal stays like this and I pinch it, it kind of does this. So it kind of holds better, if that makes sense. So I will do a 360. This is my right side. This is my left side. This is the back. And the front. Um, I wanted to straighten it a little bit, but I'm kind of afraid. I don't like to use heat on even heat friendly wigs. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure if I will or not. Um, but I probably could use the straightening iron just to straighten a little bit. I don't like when it's curled up like this or too much like that. So I might end up doing that. Um, so you can part this any, any way. I like a messy right side part, but you can also change the part and do a left side part. Now, I think I did roots on the left side too. Yeah, and I took black eyeshadow and, and did that um, to match my eyebrows. Um, so you can see that. And I, I took the eyeshadow all the way back in here too. So this is the left side part, so you could easily switch it. You probably could put it in the center. You could do anything you wanted, zigzag it. Very beautiful wig. Um, but this is how it looks with no eyeshadow on the roots. It's very light. You could put side swipe bangs in here as, as well. Let me look in my mirror here. So if you wanted to cut the bangs and side swipe them, just be very careful because it's not real hair, it's synthetic, it's plastic. So you don't wanna cut them too short and you definitely wanna know what you're doing. So I would, if I were going to cut these bangs, I would take the scissors and do this way and I would just take a tiny bit at a time. I might end up doing that to this as well. So I do have a wig cap on today, even though I have short hair because the last time I wore it, when the wind would blow, you could see my bio hair sticking out here because I didn't have a wig cap on. So, and I took a paddle brush this morning and brushed through it and I'm not doing it hard. I'm just barely touching the hair. Um, I wore it the other day for, well, all day. It was probably from 8 a.m. to about 7 p.m. And I just had a little tiny bit of tangling back here, which the paddle brush took right out. And I keep it on a wig head when I'm wearing these wigs. Um, like my favorite one, whatever one I'm wearing at the time, I just leave it on my wig head. Um, and then when I'm not, I put it inside out. 
in the box with the tag like this so I could see exactly what it is and then I put it up in my closet. So, so this is it. Um, platinum blonde with warm low lights. Um, I should go outside and show you the color. So let's do that. Ever since I hit menopause, I haven't been wearing wigs a whole lot, but it's winter time, it's cooler. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. So this is the natural light. It's not real sunny today. It's a little overcast, as you can see the color. It's really, really pretty blonde. And you can make it poofy if you want. There is permatease in here. So you can make it really poofy if you wanted to. You just kind of get your fingers in there. And make it big, big hair. I'm an 80s girl. Or you could just flatten it out. Okay. So that is Summer Heat in color F18101, which is a platinum blonde with warm highlights. And this does not come in a rooted. So like I said before, I went ahead and put a root in it. Um, it does have um, a few other colors. And there's one that's like a, oh, I wish I had the magazine with me. Um, oh, and if you don't get, the wig company magazine get one they're free and once you order a wig they will keep sending you the wig the magazine and you can look in there a lot of times they some well not a lot of times but sometimes they have sales in there that they don't have on their website um and then you can see all the different colors which you can on the website too but i like to see it right in front of me <laughs> i don't know what it is but i i just like to look in the magazine um, but they have another color that's like a, it's a blonde, but it's not platinum and it has beautiful, I want to, it's not really red. I hate to say the word red, but like strawberry blonde highlights in it. It's really, really pretty. So, but I wanted this, they have some pretty browns as well and reds. Okay. Thanks for watching. And thank you so much wig company for sending me this wig. I love it. And really, go to the wig company, their website. They have amazing prices. This wig, I think, retails for around $100, maybe a little more, maybe a little less when they have sales. Um, but for $100, you're getting a lace front, heat-friendly, gorgeous wig. I mean, if you went to the salon to get these highlights, it would cost you over a hundred dollars. There's no doubt. Um, that's, that's not even with tip. So I think the last time I got my short hair foiled, it was $150 with tip. So th this is considered long. You know, I think a stylist would consider this long and it would cost more for foils, but I mean, it's just gorgeous for a hundred bucks. I mean, okay. Have a great day. Thanks, wig company. And, ooh, I hope I get to review some more wigs in the future. That would be great. Have a great day and have a Merry Christmas. Everyone have a wonderful time with your families. Treasure them and um, make some memories. Bye.